hey guys Tony Lokwe Samuel here again in today's video we are going to learn how to create a wonderful cake flyer like this a link to download the resources we'll be using will be given in the description so you can check them out to follow suit let's get into photoshop so here in photoshop we are going to be pressing create new i'm just going to be working with a square flyer so i'll create a 4 by 4 inch flyer so i'll press create and next first thing i want to do is to bring in a picture so i'll bring in this picture into my document after bringing it in i would like to transform it out a little bit just like that so i'll just transform it out like this and i'll set it to multiply once i set the blend mode to multiply I will reduce the opacity so much to maybe around 10% because I just want it to just show lightly on the design so I'll just reduce it to 10% so I'll come over here and bring in my next element which is the overlay so I'll bring it in here just like that and I'll press ok so bringing it in I'll reduce the opacity also it doesn't have to be that much so you can just reduce it when you're okay with it I think 50% will be okay with me or oh, 40 40% 40 so yes I think I'm okay with this one next off is I would like to type and I would like to use the font called cherry Angela so I was just using the font called cherry Angela so I'll just use a random name joyful cakes so that's the name of the brand a fiction brand that we are designing for basically so I'll press ctrl T on my keyboard to transform the name out a little bit just like that and I'll press ok I'll bring it to the top right corner here just like that and I'll release it nicely just like that I'll right click on the layer and pick the blending options and I would like to add a drop shadow of the size should be one yes so and the distance to zero just like that next up is i'll add a bevel of three i think i'm okay with this just like that and i'll press okay next up is i'll pick my rectangle tool but I'm, i'll right click on it so i can pick my ellipse tool because i want to use my ellipse tool so first is i will be drawing a rectangle so i would I'll be a circle sorry so i will draw a circle just like that so you just draw a circle a normal circle just like that so start drawing this circle pick my move tool i press ctrl a center it center it ctrl d i'll double click the layer thumbnail and pick this right here just like that. i'll press ok i'll press ctrl j on my keyboard and bring this copied layer down press ctrl t and i'll increase it a little bit like that and i'll press ok i'll pick the other layer and i'll bring in the picture so i'll bring in this picture first just like that i'll bring it in and i'll place it here nicely just like that i'll press ok and i'll right click and press create clipping mark so it just clips it into the design like that so after doing that I'll pick the three of them together, I'll group them, and I can name this one Center Kick. Just like that. I'll press Ctrl T on my keyboard to transform it out more. I think I'm okay with it like this, and I'll press OK. Press Ctrl U to center it, align it horizontally and vertically. Press Ctrl D. Next up is I'll press Ctrl J on my keyboard to duplicate it, and I'll move it to the right. Just like that I'll bring the layer down below the first one and I'll press ctrl T on my keyboard to reduce it so it's going to be reduced than the other one just like that and I'll press ok so I'll reduce it here just like that and I'll bring it out very well so after doing that I will rename this to right kick I'll open the leg group and i'll delete the image so i'll bring in the next image i'll bring in this image just like that into the document 
I'll place it into the document, I'll click OK and then I'll right click and create a clipping mark also. I'll press Ctrl T on my keyboard to transform this cake out because it's too big. So I'll press OK like that, then bring it back into the document so it's just show nicely like that. You can just continue transforming it till when you're okay with it. So I think I'll be okay like this and I'll press OK and I'll just place it nicely like that. Next up is I'll duplicate it, pressing Ctrl J on my keyboard and bring it to the left hand side. So after bringing it to the left, I'll double click here and name it left cake. Just like that, I'll open the group and delete the picture, bring in another picture. So let's use this one, I'll bring it in here and I'll drop it nicely. I'll press OK and I'll right click and create clipping marks. Press Ctrl T on my keyboard to reduce it. Press OK and bring it like that. So, just that way, I will move it together. I'll pick the right and the left kick. I'll group them together and I can name them bottom. So, I'll hold the bottom and the center kick together to align them together. So, after aligning them, I can press Ctrl G and name it kicks. So we know that all this together is our cake layer. When I turn it off, all the cakes will be turned off. Press Ctrl on our keyboard to center them. Press con horizontally and vertically. Press Ctrl D on the keyboard. And next up is we'll pick the same ellipse tool, but this time we need to use the rectangle tool. So we'll just draw a diminished rectangle, just like that. A diminished rectangle, and press OK. Pick our move tool. I'll double click on the layer thumbnail and pick this same red that I've been using. I'll press OK and I'll move it here. I'll bring the layer below that of the cakes. I'll press Ctrl J on my keyboard and I'll bring the second one down just a little bit. Let's say just a little bit. I'll group the two of them together. I can raise that one up also. I'll group the two of them together and I'll name them rectangle. So I can pick the cake and the rectangle together and I can align them just like that. So I can group everything together and name it details. Detailed, yes, or image. Yes, I'll name it image. Press Ctrl A, center it, center it. Press Ctrl D. And next up, we need to put in the details of the brand. So for this, I'll be using the font called Poppins. So I'll just change my font here to Poppins, medium or semi bold. Let's go with semi bold, create a new layer. And yes, so let's type what the company does for small and large quantities. Of all kinds of cakes press ctrl a and center it i like to reduce this semi bold to medium because it's too thick and i don't like the weight i'll press ok and i can come here press ctrl on my keyboard and align it horizontally press ctrl d press ctrl t to transform it out a little bit like that and yes we are good to go i'll press ok press ctrl a I'll align it just like that. Press Ctrl D. Next off is I can raise this up a little bit, and we need to raise the image up also. So I'll raise it up also, so we can have a breathing space here. So I'll raise the large quantity up also again. And next off is I'll bring in my location image. So I'll bring in this location to the document, and I'll press OK. Press Ctrl T, and I'll reduce it. To the last very small I'll just make it very small like that i'll press ok and bring it here you can still press ctrl t to reduce it more again press ok all right click and i'll pick blending options and i would like to add a color overlay so i'll pick here and i'll pick the same red that i've been using 
creating my consistency in color so next off is i'll pick my text tool i'll still be using four pins but this time we are going to be using light so i'll just type maybe the location you can use any location of your choice so i'm just going to be forming any location for my head presently newton road a coca probably let's write lagos state i don't know if there's a kick brand here so i'll just press ok and press ctrl a on my keyboard to center it press ctrl d i'll move it here just like that i'll pick the location layer and the location itself and i'll align them vertically press ctrl g on my keyboard i can rename it to location press ctrl a and align it horizontally finally press ctrl d and reduce it a little bit next off is i'll pick my rectangle tool and draw a rectangle here this will be our call to action just like that and i'll break, place it nicely there and i will double click on my layer thumbnail and use the same red i'll press ok and i will next off is i'll bring in our whatsapp logo so this brand that we are creating for a fiction brand we we'll just we are going to see maybe they are using whatsapp so we'll bring it into document and bring it here just like that press ctrl t to transform it also like that press ok right click on it come to the blending options and add the color overlay of white so that it can be seen I'll press ok ok and i'll pick my text to this time and i'll be typing any phone number you can type phone a phone number of your choice if it's for the brand so you can press ctrl a and let's go back to medium because this is a call to action so I'll just be typing a phone number for this one i'm going to be using 334 so this for a nigerian number you can use 33 for any design 433 434 33 for any choice i would like to make the color white the color of the text white so it can be seen also glaring pick my move tool I'll zoom in so I can balance it. Press Ctrl T and transform it in also. Okay. I like to transform this also a little bit. So after doing that, next off is I'll pick the two of them together and I'll align them vertically. So I'll pick the two layers together, align them vertically, group them together, and I can name this call to action. press enter press ctrl a on my keyboard and i will center it i'll press ctrl d and i'll press ctrl o to zoom out so like this we'll be able to create a cake flyer if you want to learn on how to create a church flyer please click on the video on the screen thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you in the next tutorial